Good afternoon, Ride Along. This is your girl, Carla. I am um, just coming to you. It's been seem like a minute. I've just been had a, well, Carla's, AKA the Ebony Nomad. <laughs> but I've just had a difficult week this week. So I'm in North Carolina where we don't get much snow, but when we do get snow, it's usually ice and everything shuts down. But it, this week, it wasn't really the snow. It was the, the temperatures. And so, my, Tuesday when I went back to work after the New Year's holidays, I had to walk about two blocks. And so as I was walking, I was like, wait a minute, like it was 13 degrees and I am a 50 something year old woman. So my knees was like, hey girl, hey, <laughs> you forgot about us. And so I was actually considering just thinking like, well, how are van dwellers dealing with this, these temperatures like this? And I, you know, I've heard all and watched a lot of videos about, you know, having a Mr. Buddy heater in, in your van and you know all other ways you can even use your camp stove to heat your heat your rig or what have you but i just say all this to say that i can't van do a full time until my daughter who's 15 um graduates from high school at the very minimum um the plan is for her to go to college so i maybe stay on my job for one more year to kind of support her through that transition but after that i that's what i want to do full time but i swear i was thinking well you know what i don't know if i could do this full time with this kind of weather so I, I'll just be honest, I will have the option of, because I will have retirement income, that I might have to be in somebody's hotel, um, or be on a friend's couch, or a family member's couch, or what have you, just because I, I just think this this weather, this temperature's at 13 and 12 degrees, and even today it's probably about, um, I don't know, maybe 28, 25, I'm not sure what the temperature is, but um, yeah, or maybe even 30, I don't, I don't know, but I'll just say this, it's cold, and my bones are letting me know that it's cold. But anyway, I'm actually just following up on my Walmart video. I was a little disappointed when I went to Walmart because you know how you have a list of things that you want to get and you get there and you get everything but what's on your list and then you get to the counter and you're like, what did I spend $100 on? Like, yeah. So, so I'm going to do a quick Walmart haul. I didn't get much from Walmart, but again, um, yeah. So I'm going to let you in on the things that I got. I'll do a little quick haul. And I also, I put up my bathroom video, but for whatever reason, it didn't post through YouTube. So I'm going to have to try that again and see how that goes. But anyway, I'm going to let you in on what I got at Walmart the other day. And then also share with you all my, I was feeling a little defeated this week, not just from the weather, but from a situation here with my van. But I'll show you that in a minute as well. So hold on, I'm going to show you what I got from Walmart. So I ended up buying not a whole lot of Walmart, but the main thing I bought, and this thing is heavy, it's a tool kit, and it's like, it's a 53 piece tool kit because I didn't even have any tools that I really needed to work on, you know, my van or whatever. And then I ended up, I did end up buying this water jug, which I, I just feel like I paid too much money for it, but it was what I needed at the time. And it has a big mouth where it'll be easy to refill it. Cause I saw a couple others and just, you know, and I like this mash down tab where you can, um, don't have to have your hand on it to get the water out of it. And I also picked up this emergency blanket and I was thinking surely if I was out trying to van dwell right now I might would actually need that because I ain't figured out what I'm gonna do for heat as of yet even when I camp um, And then I just picked up this generic brand of camp soap um, Just to you know be environmentally friendly And I was even thinking about food. I just picked up it's been a minute and I was going to try these at the house. I haven't had sardines in a while. So I'm going to try these at the house first to see if I like them before I take them on the road with me and have to starve if I don't like them. So I'm going to try these. And and then I know I like this. I like salmon and tuna. Um, just something that I'll be quick to be able to add something to and make a good meal with protein. And then one of my coworkers gave me some camping stuff for Christmas, which I thought was really nice. And actually, I'm her supervisor, but that was just really nice of her anyway. Some... Um, the hand warmers and I have used these before camping the hand and foot warmers and she gave me this little flashlight with the batteries to it as well as um, this water cup that's supposed to keep your stuff really really cold um, so that's some things I got and then I um, a little while ago I was I went to Harbor Freight when I got um, my uh, foam for my van I had just picked up a couple um, I got these little flashlights. I'm, they may have been a dollar or two. I don't even know. Or they might have been free. Oh, no, that wasn't free. These, This was free. And it this actually puts out a lot of light. Um, I got this. This was free. Uh, yeah. That day I was shopping there. And then I picked up some Velcro. And I think I actually may have gotten this at Walmart as well that I'm going to use to when I put the, the um, 
the blackout felt on my reflectors. So I'm gonna use this to hopefully be able to stick it on there. And then I was at a thrift store and I happened to pick up this little light and I think it does work because I changed out the batteries. Let me see how you, well, I think it does work. I can't figure out how to do it now, of course, but anyway, so that's that. Now, the other thing I want to show you that had me just kind of devastated this whole week. I came out one day and I just happened to look at my van. And can you see my van now? I, <laughs> I look back. I was so, I felt so defeated. Like I had to work hard to put the seats down. And, and I'm like, what the hell happened to my vehicle? So my son, he's 20. I said, um, son, did you go in my car, car? Oh yeah. I was looking for something under your seats. And I was like, and so you didn't think to put my seats back down or fix my van like I had it. Well, I didn't know how to put your seats down and you was busy and so on, so on, so on. So anyway, I'm, he didn't know how to put my seats back down. So he, I'm going to teach him how to put it back down and help him find what he was looking for and make it clear to him. And my other child, my daughter's 15, but she doesn't do that. She doesn't care. She's a teenager. That when you mess with somebody's stuff, you put it back like you found it. So yeah, and I was just like, damn, I got to start all over again. But anyway, this is what I have to be working on, but I'm still going to do it. Um... So they'll be working on finding me because I think I really want to do me a futon mattress that can be like half of half of this side, this this side of my van, but it also can, you know, I can sit up with it and have something supporting my back. So that's what I'm thinking I might do, but we'll see how that goes. Alrighty. See you guys later. So you know how it is when nothing seems to work when you want it to. So this does work. I, I paid about a dollar for it at a thrift store, but it does work. It has you have to hold it down, I think, first. And those lights come on. And then the middle headlight, or the two side headlights. And then the middle headlight. So this will be like a headlamp for nighttime if I need it. All right.